Yo, what's good, peeps? It's your boy, XE. Welcome back to the channel. How's your guys' day going so far? Mine is actually going quite fine, if I do say so myself. It's actually 3 in the morning. I don't really know how I got to making a video at 3 in the morning, but I mean, hey, here we are. But what we're going to be talking about today has a lot to do with the app of TikTok. And if you don't know what TikTok is, then th wh what are you doing? Why are you living under a rock or living at the bottom of the freaking ocean? Like, I swear, dude, this app is literally everywhere. Like, I will just ask around what people are doing. And they're like, oh, yeah, I'm just watching TikTok. Or I'll just get a text from one of my friends. And what do you know, dude? It's a TikTok. Like, it almost seems like this app has just completely taken the world by the neck and just said, oh, yeah, no, I'm going to make every, every single person ages 10 to 20 addicted to this app. But with TikTok becoming this white use social media there has actually been some crazy challenges that have came along with the app one of the first ones that really comes to mind for me has to be the the one where they use like the teeth whitening stuff and then they like take it out and it, uh, i don't know just watch yeah <laughs> Yo, chill out there, buddy. It's freaking teeth whitening stuff. It is not, it's not what you think it is. But hey, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you guys. It doesn't really harm anybody to post videos like that. Like, you know, it's kind of weird. It's kind of strange behavior. That's really all I have to explain it as. But is it really harming anybody? No. But I really think the problem comes in when people do these quote unquote challenges, which really aren't challenges. It's just instructions that could really result in somebody's harm. And I mean, personally for me, that's where I feel like the, the problems come in. And I think that's where it really crosses the line. If you ask me and i mean just to give another example of these insanely absurd challenges that come to my mind it has to be the blue whale challenge and this is back from 2016 and if you don't already know what the blue whale challenge is then i'm just gonna go ahead and throw out there that you should not do this challenge by any means or any of the challenges that i talk about in this video but of course if your heart so desires that you do some of these challenges just choose some of the less harmful ones like the first one i talked about but by any means if you want to do some of these challenges that could result in harm of yourself then just don't do it do yourself a favor and save the pain but yeah i just thought i'd get that out of the way but if you don't already know what the blue whale challenge is it was a huge thing back in 2016 and it basically gave you a list of challenges that slowly got more and more absurd as time went on and i mean just another challenge that has actually been quite recent that's happened on tiktok is the benadryl challenge and basically what that was is where you take a certain amount of benadryl enough to where you would overdose and you'd have hallucinations seizures all that but according to this challenge if you took enough benadryl you know enough to overdose and put yourself at risk at dying then you'd see this special hallucination bro i am not making this shit up but yeah i mean believe it or not that's not the challenge we're talking about today so like what could top the benadryl challenge i mean I, this is a deadly tiktok trend we're talking about right all right so the trend i'm actually talking about is called the skull breaker trend and basically what happens in the skull breaker trend is you'll get three people in a tiktok right and the two people on the outer edge of the tiktok will jump and then the person in the middle will after them and basically the two people on the outer edge will kick out the one person in the middle they'll kick out their legs as they're in the air this of course causes a person in the middle to fall and hit their head on the ground and i you know I, I just don't really understand the stupidity that goes into this trend like genuinely how dumb do you have to be to like do this trend to somebody like you seriously have to be a terrible human being to do this to one of your friends and if i'm not mistaken quite a few people have actually been hospitalized because of this trend and i just have to ask how do we get to this point in the human race like i don't understand and on a side note this challenge is ironically not that challenging i mean if you think about it it's really not that hard to kick out your friend freaking legs out from under them i could definitely see where people are like compelled to want to do these challenges but when it comes to the skull breaker challenge i don't really understand the thought process and that and why you would want to do that like it seems like everybody is tiktok famous now and i definitely see the appeal because you want to be tiktok famous just like everyone else right but to go as far as to get that fame from kicking out one of your friend's legs and possibly breaking their skull or their neck like are you serious i mean this trend literally has some long-term effects like this person could get paralyzed from this kind of trend and they could not move their legs for the rest of their life do you really want to do that to someone i mean that really just brings me back to the stupidity that goes into doing these kinds of challenges like how stupid and how dumb do you have to be to do this to one of your friends one of your buddies it just doesn't make sense to me i can't understand so what if i told you there was another tiktok trend that topped the skull breaker challenge you know it was even more harmful than the skull breaker challenge where you try and break your friend's skull right i mean me a few minutes ago would not have believed what i just said but uh yeah to find out leave a like dude shut up no one wants to leave a like on your stupid ass video the trend i'm talking about is called the choking challenge 
I, I am not joking about this. I, I kid you not. This is an actual trend that people did. So, I mean, the trend is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, people would just choke themselves in order to get high or have some sort of trip, right? I mean, this just goes back to the Benadryl challenge because, you know, people are trying to get high and crap. And I, I just don't really understand the appeal. Like, I guess I get the appeal in vaping. It looks cool, whatever, dude. But, like, people are legit addicted to choking themselves. Are you serious? And off of the little research that I did, I actually found out that some kid put, like, a dog collar around his neck and essentially just hung himself. I love 11-year-old Curtis had put a dog's choke chain around his neck, and it's believed when he passed out, he fell forward, tightening the chain and cutting off oxygen to his brain. Dude, I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but this kid is 11 years old. Why is there an 11-year-old trying to hang himself with a dog collar? Dude, I just don't understand. When I was 11, I was worrying about my freaking Minecraft world, not about hanging myself. It's not even like this kid was, like, depressed or anything, or at least I don't think he was, but he was just trying to do the trend. Like, it's honestly absurd. I don't know, man. If you haven't already gone on the idea from this video so far the moral of the story is that you should not do these challenges that could end in you accidentally killing yourself i cannot stress this enough if you're gonna do a challenge for tiktok cloud that could end in you harming yourself then the tiktok cloud just isn't worth it i don't know man i think that's where i'm gonna go ahead and end out the video i don't think my brain can really take much more of this stupidity make sure you leave a like and subscribe or the among us sussy will hold you hostage personally i wouldn't chance it but then again i don't make the rules but yeah thank you all for watching today take it easy i'll catch you all later peace